Hey guys, how's it going? Oxmas here. Welcome back to Union Cross. We're going to talk about the new VIP that just came out. It has a bunch of stuff in it, but is it really worth it? There's a little bit of content, some rating for the week with your party, new avatar parts. And of course, we have Aqua as a banner, but not a mercy pull. Uh, let's jump into this and look at pretty much everything that's in here. Starting off with the VIP. I just want to get that out of the way. There is a couple things in here. A new skill deal as well, which is VIP daily skills to thrill. They actually threw this in VIP instead you can only draw once per day and it's free so it's not really like oh my god look at those pay to wins They're, the odds here are terrible if you want some good trade here you're not going to really uh, be too happy with your uh, your odds of getting a good trade but it's a free banner for anyone who buys VIP there's nothing for just anyone else who's playing the game and in all honesty it's just like someone making high coliseum or buying extra avatar parts it's just a chance at something extra that's all it is nothing else so don't worry too much about this i wouldn't go be jumping buying vip just for this banner alone uh sadly jp got a mercy pull 10 for this we didn't we have it just as a falling price deal only one seven star medal to come along with it and five magic mirrors if you guys are desperate and you really want more traits you could reroll traits on your aqua or if you really want aqua you can take your hand on it but again the draw odds for these banners are not that good and just wait for the mercy pulls even if the mercy pull comes as a vip um, and it doesn't come for general then just skip the medal altogether it's not worth chasing you've seen them on twitter you've seen them on discord you've seen people on reddit posting how many trait medals they have of one medal and nothing out of it anthony has like 20 of these aquas trait medals just sitting in his inventory he got nothing for it so be careful with these kind of banners you could get lucky but don't dive all in if you want to go once or twice or three times and you can spare the 9,000, go ahead but you see how my account has 9,000 up here I'm not going to pull three times to try to get her. It's just not worth it. If you had like 50,000 jewels and you're willing to try to do something like that, just know some people are holding like 30 plus trait medals in their inventory. So in all in all, seven days, just wait it out. If you want traits, I wouldn't recommend that because medals like these new Supernova Plus medals come with an extra strength boost because they can become plus. That means you can re-level them again for more base strength. And then you can put an extra 3,000 strength on top of them because of chips. So yes, Super Burst or Supernova, Aqua, Terra, and Ventus are very strong medals, even against those new Kingdom Hearts 3 medals. The thing is, they're just not worth the chase because if they continue with the Supernova Plus for only newer metals, then you know that these are going to get outdated pretty quick. They are only going to last you a long time. If you got extra attack, negative 60, and a couple 1000s on them, they will be competitive for a very long time. You don't have to worry about that, but just not worth chasing for non-mercy pulls. Uh, I think that's a new VIP banners. There's a couple of people asking me if I have Kyrie and Shion already. What should I go for right now? If you're really itching to pull, like I said, chances is Aqua, but I wouldn't recommend chances. Uh, Nominee is really good if you already have a single target random medal with negative 60 ground and aerial. That's going to make those medals AOE, and that's going to make a difference in quests with a lot of enemies or Coliseum. And if you do, none of that fancies you, then this banner is still the best banner for any new player or veteran player that just didn't have luck or you want some good medals to start off. This is the banner to go for. Forget all these tier 9 medals over here. They're not the prize. The prize is Maleficent, Pete, Woody, and Buzz. You get the proper traits on them. You throw those uh, platinum tickets on it. Well, not platinum tickets, but you got to get the proper uh, Meowell medals. Do that and you're good to go. I've been saving all mine for the future. There's nothing I really want right now because my counts are strong. If you're in the position where I am and you're passing all the content, especially the content that just happened that was actually difficult, then you can continue saving and just carry on. Don't worry about the rest. So uh, that's it for banners plus the VIP. We do have the chocolate Valentine's and little chocolates that you can give to your friends. So how this works, if you guys want to give this to one of your friends, all you got to do is get their ID, leave a little message, and on the 18th, they're going to update it, send everyone the chocolates. So here's an example. Happy Valentine's Day. And then they did ID 12345679 because the person they want to send it to is one two three four five six seventy nine so let's say you guys want to send it to my free to play account here you will look at my id in the top over here where it says two 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 seven eight two eight you will leave a little message just like you saw over there and you would send me a chocolate that kind of deal so whoever you want to send a chocolate to you guys just got to put a little message and id on the second line with the numbers don't put any spaces in between the numbers don't put any special characters just make sure it looks just like the example uh, and there's a couple of things that go along with this. 
if a person receives the most chocolates, which is top five people, so five people, if they get the most chocolates out of everyone else, they're going to get a special title. And in addition to that, if they get at least 10,000 chocolates sent out, everyone will receive a platinum ticket and 10 six-star chip medals. So that's for the strength that we were talking about. You need to put on these new medals 3,000 strength. So that 10 there is really, really good. If the goal is met, the rewards will be handed out on the 19th. Uh, so only player accounts registered before February 1st will actually count for this. Anything that's been made from today uh, to 10 days ago, yeah, we're on February 11th, will not count just so people don't make a bunch of fake accounts just so they can get the title, just so they can get all that other stuff, the rewards for 10,000. They're making sure only counts that have been here on since January all the way to the first day count. So it also says your chocolate valentine will not be delivered if your player message is not list the receptionist player id remember no spaces no characters no nothing has to look like this pretty much so on top of that they're doing a little twitter campaign top 10 people i think yeah 10 winners will receive 5,000 jewels so if you want 5,000 jewels or a chance at it all you gotta do is send in a picture like this make sure you guys put khux hashtag khux you gotta at them hashtag valentine's contest 2019 leave a little message like they have here feeling like a princess during this mission so a little picture of your best costume and the best scenery, whatever you guys want to do, get creative. 10 people will get 5,000 jewels. Uh, this only classifies to people who are legal residents of 50 United States, DC, Puerto Rico, Canada, excluding Quebec, the United Kingdoms, uh, Kingdom, excluding the British overseas territories, Germany and France, excluding overseas France, who are 18 or older. So there is a couple of rules you guys got to follow. Make sure that you don't do anything that's like you know vulgar and shit like that stay away from that the rules are right here cooks hashtag valentines the at and your comment is optional don't forget that but there are specific rules make sure you guys read all of this it's a fun little contest they've done this for valentine they've done this for halloween i'm not sure if they've done christmas before or not but they've done a couple contests like this and people do win the jewels which is really cool so that's what they're doing for Valentine's Day on Twitter and in Union Cross itself. We got Supernova HD Aqua, like I was talking about. Fallen price still. You have all the stuff here, but it's not a mercy pull, so just back off. <laughs> don't try to jump your luck unless you have so many jewels and you don't care anymore. Then do what you guys want. Uh, Deluxe Solo Party Ranking. Basically, in the party rankings, uh, it's speed gems for solo ranking, only from top 2,000 and upwards. And for party ranking, same thing, only 2,000 parties will receive this. And... I believe 300 and higher will receive one magic broom or two magic brooms if you're higher into the rankings. But that's about it. Along with that party ranking for raids, you do have a raid event going on right now. There is a raid board that has magic mirrors, magic brooms, chip and dales, and plus and other things. Um, of course, the raid will cost zero AP during the raid is bonus time, bonus time. So you guys can farm this as much as you want. So do that if you guys want all the good stuff in there and also to complete your dailies because completing your one daily for 30 jewels has been a pain in the arse that is for sure so that's the lux party rankings uh the chocolate cap vip like i was talking about you basically have 4400 jewels to buy vip and get this chocolate hat with it you're gonna get this weird metal that's the metal that you can farm right now plus avatar coins and the 2000 jewels if you guys are doing that but it's in vip this metal is good right now because of the booster has like a 41 multiplier but after that it's not worth it so this is not worth your money guys stay away from this uh you do get yourself the sora which has been outdated for a very long time but the riku is actually pretty good especially if you can throw traits on him uh he'll definitely pick up some pace but again not worth the 20 dollars alone you do get a gold ticket magic mirrors seven of them and magic broom seven of them you get 10 gems which is really cool 10 speed 10 power 10 magic which i really like uh six fantasia mickey b's not really worth it like i said everything comes seven stars you get daily chip and dales which is nice because we have so many things to chip and dale now and this is the thing that's worth it the most out of everything in the game of course over time you can farm this if you're patient especially uh during zero ap campaigns but <clears throat> If you never want to farm again, this is the quest to do. You buy VIP, you play through the entire week, farm up a ton of these, and you never have to worry. This doesn't have as much value as you did before because, like I said, we get medals as 7 stars now during the draws. So you don't need to put anything on them except for experience medals and Chippendales. Besides that, half of these things are not going to be used. Only the experience medals and the Fantasia Mickey A's. That's about it. Because 
we're pulling seven star tier sevens, tier eights, tier nines for our sub slots. So you no longer need to upgrade your tier one medals, your tier two medals, and eventually your tier three medals, four, five, and six. If you start pulling enough in the game, your sub slots can be covered from tier seven and higher. But some people that's not possible. So this will help you, out, especially if you're new and you want to buy VIP. But this VIP is very, very weak this week. Uh, there's nothing really screaming. It's worth it to me. Worth it is a special medal that's never been in the game before. That's actually decent. Um, these are medals you can get in the game. Riku, Sora, that special medal for free just for completing a couple quests. Gold tickets will come and go. My gold tickets are stacked. You lose value very fast. Magic mirrors, magic brooms. Our entire event quest is full of these. Gems are the best thing. And like I said, it just is nothing that screams, hey, this VIP is really cool. It's just a lot of little things put together to make it look very, very big. Um, kind of disappointed they didn't put like a special VIP medal in there that's unique. So uh, is that pretty much everything? No, there's there's one more thing. There's a Valentine's balloon for Union Cross. I forgot to do my last week's Union Cross besides the power booster because of PvP. Uh, but this week is a bunch of little balloons. Really cool. There's a little bit of detail into them. You got some patterns. You got like round effect going on. But besides that, it's just balloons on your back. What's most important is all the chip dales, magic mirrors, experience medals in here, magic brooms, and uh, jewels. There's definitely jewels in there. So make sure that you guys do them, but try to stick to the bonus times because that's when you can do it the quickest quickest one half an hour or two half an hours and you're good to go for the entire week or two that's there so i think that's pretty much it this event coins are the same event coins you've been farming for peter pan and sora you can now use on this board which has magic mirrors magic brooms and all that good stuff so that's it for the the whole update that's happening right now the most important thing was like aqua people are asking me about and uh that skill deal which is just a nice little bonus to vip still not worth it it's all a bunch of little things put together uh not that unique not that exciting like i said the most exciting thing that's for me that's going to come up is in two days the organization 13 event i can't wait to actually play that because that's where the challenge is going to be and with the updates of uh, these new supernova plus medals in the game from this kingdom hearts 3 fallen price deal i want to see how tough this organization event's going to be because these guys have a lot of general strength in them this does end tonight so if you guys haven't done your free draw make sure to do your free draw anything past that it's up to your account and how strong you are already but anything in here is going to benefit new players and veteran players um, but that's it for the update guys i'm sorry that i've been a little lackluster on the videos but i'm slowly crawling back into it as you can see like there's not much when it comes to content it's been banners 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 vip coliseum pvp which is all the generic stuff I always just had on the side for extra inventory. I mean, upgrade materials and stuff like that. What made the game fun to me were the event quests that were challenging, or you can farm a free metal like Sora and Peter Pan. Those kind of things are really exciting to me. So I can't wait for that to be updated. Um, but that's pretty much everything, guys. If I missed something or if I made a mistake, leave it down below in the comment section. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.